Um, so anyway, yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I'm a little out of practice. But um, I've been watching um, all the early M. Night Shyamalan movies with my son, my 13-year-old. I love Split. If you haven't seen Split, see Split. It's uh, really fantastic. Um, fantastic. James McAvoy should get an Oscar for that, but but definitely uh, will make you want to go back and watch some of his original stuff. So we have been uh, watching them in sequence of the, the order in which they came out and we watched Sixth Sense. Then we watched Unbreakable. We just finished uh, Signs and now we're getting ready to watch The Village. Um, but I noticed some things in Unbreakable that I didn't notice before um, being a writer. And I noticed some foreshadowing that I never noticed before, something that I thought was really, really great. And it's something that I thought would be really good to implement into, into writing. There's this one scene um, where Samuel L. Jackson's character um, is in a comic book store. And he's there, and he's sitting there, and he, he's just found out from uh, Bruce Willis's character that he says, I have been sick. I nearly drowned as a child in a pool. Um, and so Samuel L. Jackson, who has been searching for this sole survivor for several years, he's just so downcast, and he's in this comic book store. And he's not just down, he's, he's kind of seething. You can see that there's this anger and this bitterness uh, something he's worked really hard for, and you don't fully know yet exactly to what extent, but he's sitting in there, and the employee comes up to him and says, hey, you know, I need you gone, you know, we're getting ready to close. And, and Samuel L. Jackson's character, uh, as he's being wheeled out, um, he turns the wheelchair on purpose, uh, and he crashes into the comic books, making him cascade down. And the guy gets obviously peeved at first, but then as they're moving along, he does it again. And he says, hey, if you do this again, I'm going to call the cops. So he wheels him out, and he turns one final time, and it makes it an even bigger splash. And, and the guy's like, fine, that's it, I'm calling the police. And then as he looks down, there's a comic book that he wants. And he picks it up, and then he holds it up and says, how much for this one? Now, the thing that was really interesting about this, though, it, uh, it was very much indicative of what was going to be revealed later. Because he's in there. He has a wheelchair because of his bone problems. He had broken a few of his bones. And because of his, his illness, in, he... He purposely crashed three times. Now, why is this important? Well, it was important because he crashes three times into these comic books, but there are three things that are mentioned. There is mentioned of a an airplane explosion, and then there's mentioned a hotel fire, and then the train. So it's funny because he crashes into the comic books, and they're, you know, nothing. He crashes into comic books again, nothing. And when he crashes in the third time, the train, he picks up a single comic book that depicts the hero, which is supposed to represent Bruce Willis. So I just thought that that was really interesting that it's like, you know, we can, we can foreshadow in very subtle, subtle ways. It's something I have watched this movie several times and it never picked up on that. And so I thought it was really interesting to be able to pay attention and focus on what things is he giving away that this guy is the villain. And there were several things that came up, but this was one scene that I was like, why is this scene in here? It was a scene that actually kind of always just bothered me because we're supposed to kind of like him at this point. And this is the first move that makes us go like, okay, he's kind of a jerk and maybe weird, but it's so important for us to understand that he doesn't mind what destruction he causes, as long as he can get what he wants. And what he wanted was to find a way to make Bruce Willis the hero. And so that particular comic book is what made him go, oh, water is just his weakness. So it was very, very symbolic. And I thought that that was so cool. And it kind of was one of those like, you know, mind blowing, you know, moments. And so I thought it was really interesting. So anyway, 
yeah, I do get weird on these. Just wanted to throw that out there and yeah, let me know what you think. All right. Bye.